Calaroga Shark Media. Apparently rats like taking selfies. I am Johnny Mack with five good news stories. An artist named Augustine bought two rats as pets, as one does. And, you know, what if you've got a pet rat? He built them an elaborate cage and using a mechanism that gave the rodents sugar whenever they pressed a button, he trained them to take selfies. The project is a commentary on the notions of pleasure, reward, and the addictive behaviors induced by social media. Augustine says the images offered a playful way to explore topics like reduced attention spans and the impact of social media algorithms. After taking selfies for a few days, the rats were sent to his mom's house <laughs> to live out the rest of their days. Uh, I'm sure mom was thrilled. Why didn't you just keep the rats, dude? What are you doing? The rats probably have more followers than I have anyway. Good news, a brain cancer blood test. There's uh, there's a segue, huh? Scientists have developed a simple blood test that could offer early diagnosis for brain tumors in the future. It isolates tumor cells that have broken free from the tumor and are circulating in the blood. The cells are then stained. It can be identified under a microscope. The Imperial College's Dr. Nelifer Saeed said a non-invasive, inexpensive method for the early detection of brain tumors is critical for improvements in patient care. Nice job by a long-distance runner who raised $38,000 by running the length of Japan. Gary has racked up thousands of miles running in races around the world. Oh, yeah, Gary's blind. About 15 years ago, the Hong Kong resident lost complete vision in both his eyes. He was depressed, but he found that long-distance running gave him confidence in the boost that he needed. He became the first blind person who finished the 62-mile Antarctic Ice Marathon. Wow. He recently organized and completed the 40-day Dark Run 2023 in Japan, where he ran from the south of Japan all the way to the north. He raised $38,000 from Make-A-Wish Hong Kong. He told CNN, a lot of people may say, wow, you ran the span of Japan. You're so impressive. I'm actually not. The most impressive are these children. I wanted to show them that we all have our obstacles, but we must face them head on. And with bravery, when they're faced with theirs, many of them suffer from worse difficulties. They could see it's possible to overcome. A Georgian athlete performed 61 handstand push-ups. That broke the Guinness World Record. Sandro is a strength and conditioning coach. He broke the record of 52 consecutive handstand push-ups, which was sent by Victor back in 2019. Sandro told the Guinness Book, For me, the handstand is the epitome of athleticism and high neuromuscular control. I like handstand push-ups, conceptually by their very nature. You have to control all segments of your body in every single movement in order to not lose balance. He said he trained for three years to take on the record. And during the final year, he would practice six days a week. He is now attempting the world record for most handstand push-ups in one minute and the most handstand push-ups in three minutes. And this next one isn't really good news, but it made me smile. And one of the goals of this podcast is to make you smile. This one is a touch naughty, just a little naughty. So if naughty freaks you out or maybe the little ones are listening with you, I'll see you next time. Okay, for the rest of you, it's not that naughty. A woman. Posted a picture. She was in her bathroom. She was showing off her cap and sunglasses. You know, in the bathroom, there's a mirror. It's a good place to take a selfie of sorts. She threw the post up on Instagram. It was up there for half an hour. She found out the double reflection that caught her boyfriend, Harry, wiping himself on the toilet. It got hundreds of thousands of likes. It was only up for 37 minutes. Some viewers were questioning her boyfriend's wiping technique. One asked, why is he standing up? What kind of person does that? Another, a different point of view, and said, stand up wiper. Respect. And my favorite part of this story, the woman, her first name, Shannon, her last name, you're not going to believe me, you're going to think I'm making this up, her last name, but... That's your five good news stories for today. Enjoy the program. Tell somebody about it. They might like it too. Have an awesome day.